Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London. Today I'm looking at a book which will be very familiar to uh, many practitioners. It's called O'Hare and Brown Civil Litigation. I used to know it as O'Hare and Hill originally. It's now in its uh, 20th edition for 2021-2022. And John O'Hare and Kevin Brown have produced this new book. It's here. Uh, I've given the title of the review. It's, uh, the book comes from Sweden Maxwell, Thomson Reuters. And I've given the review title. The entire spectrum of civil litigation covered for the uninitiated. And that's really what it's about because it's actually very useful for people, many, many people we now have who are unrepresented parties and litigants in person. Let's have a look at the book. There it is. It's a paperback. There's the spine. You probably can't see too much on the back. My review is actually partly to do with what's um, actually on the back of the, uh, the, the book. There's a little bit of advertising now from Sweet and Maxwell. And then you've got other books in the series, which are quite useful. Obviously, documentary evidence, disclosure and Clark and Linsel on Torts are mentioned. Then you've got the uh, index, which you can probably see. That's the standard house style index for Sweden Maxwell which is by paragraph numbering and there's something that they call the legal taxonomy which is when I get to it there which explains how you use that because you should be able to find things very quickly in this book it's not the same as the white book over here which is incredibly complicated and really you do need to know how to use that eventually but this is the idiot's guide if you like there's the front page and then there's some information about the book. Then there's the preface. Do read the preface because O'Hare and Brown have uh, been extremely helpful in setting out what the changes are that have taken place. And the law is as stated at the 1st of July 2021. Um, now I'm just then looking at the table of contents running all the way through. Then you've got quite a large number of cases. All the usual suspects are there. Then you've got the statutes, then you have the SIs next to them. When we get to that, you can see those there as well. And then after that, we've got the table of civil procedurals. Today, unlike when I read for the bar 30 odd years ago, it's different. And the CPR is really very important and absolutely fundamental to an understanding of what you're doing. So the CPR table is very helpful because you need to know the numbers and remember the the numbers that crop up regularly like part 8 and so forth and uh, CPR 55 and so on. Then after that we then move on. You've got actual practice directions and protocols which are also listed. Now they are at the back of the white book and uh, again they, they have, some have been updated recently. So it's important to know what's going on. Chapter one, you can see the start of it. It sets out in outline what civil litigation is about. It talks about the Supreme Court and the Court of Appeal. You've got your paragraph numbering at the sides there. And then, of course, running all the way through, uh, there are no footnotes as such. But you do get, uh, obviously, detail concerning the white book and detail also concerning case law. Again, you probably can't see that there, but that's that's where it is. All in all, it runs to something like 750 pages. Uh, it's much bigger than the book I had, which of course dealt with two different sets of rules. Not one set of rules, but two. One for the High Court, one for the County Court. So what do I say about this book? Because I, it's an important book for you to have. So the new edition of O'Hare and Brown um, tells students and those new to civil litigation, how the expandingly complex civil procedure rules, the CPR, work in practice today. The book covers the entire spectrum of civil litigation, providing a step-by-step -step guide through all stages of a civil action. And that's really quite important because there's always going to be an occasion where you forget something. I do it, everybody does it, even the brilliant ones. So you've always got to look at the book the white book being the key, but this this little book is absolutely fundamental as the start off. And I use it even now as, as the beginning of it, just to refresh my memory on things like, say, for example, what I've just done, a part 36 offer. 
just have to remember what the rules are and where we actually are with them. So what we feature in the current edition are a practical, comprehensive and detailed guide covering all areas of civil litigation in the High Court and the County Courts. And of course, again, uh, we obviously have the Supreme Court uh, in addition, but uh, for the purposes, this book is absolutely fundamental. And for my practice, which is a county court practice primarily, it's, it's very important to know what the rules are. Because what the authors do is they guide you through the procedure involved in any civil matter, covering all stages of the litigation, and they do it in a logical sequence, which I found very helpful, starting with the pre-action, all the stuff be before you get to the nitty-gritty, then the enforcement, then the appeals. And that's where the problems really start. And of course you've got expert authors here with the knowledge to give us both tactical and strategic advice with examples, tips and solutions. And I say that because a lot of the advice I get comes to me via direct access today where people really don't follow what has happened and quite often mistakes are made which had we been able to spot it a bit early, could have possibly rectified the situation. There is, of course, this serious attitude problem by some members of the judiciary about ADR, Alternative Dispute Resolution. Um, but I am hoping that attitudes will prevail to try to persuade parties to go to mediation so that they don't have the full force of strict CPR to deal with. Now, what we do have in this book is cross-reference to CPR and the white book itself. Now, again, when I did the uh, course, um, the bar course, all those years ago, I did buy a copy of the white book to go with the civil litigation. And I also had to buy a copy of the green book because that was where the county court rules were. But now you've got, I think, a much more simplified process, thanks to Lord Wolfe, and I'm very pleased. And for the 20th edition... You've got new sections which have come in with better coverage of, of the number of areas, including online case management systems. That's with CE filing and the MCOL, that's the Money Claims uh, Online Procedure, under uh, the Road Traffic Acts and, of course, the various protocols. More of that in a minute. Also included are the new, is the new protocol for uh, the small RTA cases. Um, and that came into force just before the book was published on the 31st of May 2021. So, you know, it's actually um, six months on at least from there. Um, we've also got use of remote hearings, which still continue, um, notwithstanding the pandemic coming possibly to a conclusion uh, in the end of January, February. Then you've got post-Brexit amendments, amendments to the CPR and the disclosure pilot scheme, plus, of course, mediation, ADR. And in more detail, <clears throat> what do we get? Well, these are the chapter heads that may be relevant to you. Chapter 9, um, that's on proceedings under Part 7 and 8, which of course are the very popular ones, with full coverage of the multiple case management systems, now use in, of use in the High Court and the County Courts, and also, of course, the Business and Property Court at Rolls Building. Uh, there's a new Chapter 10 on procedure under the RTA and the protocols, that, as I say, came into force in May last year. Chapter 13 covers interim applications, including updated coverage of current practice as to remote hearings. Again, that is very much a fixture at the moment. Uh, I don't like them myself, but um, I thought we have to put up with it. These are basically the video cloud video platform or the telephone hearings. The one thing that the civil servants and the judiciary, I think, have forgotten is the, the client. A lot of them don't have these systems. A lot of us had to scrabble around to get the systems we needed just to do these cases remotely. And it costs quite a lot of money. And of course, there's been very little understanding, frankly, of, of some of the cases. Uh, but that's the way it's been through the pandemic. I don't think things are going to change immediately. I'd like to go back to the old system, but I, I think we've got the practice concerning remote hearings with us for some long time. Then on chapter 41 you've got enforcement on the non-money judgments and there's a commentary on the enforcement of orders for possession and contempt proceedings. Now on possession, again we don't really know where we are but it is dealt with pretty well there because in the early days as, pra as a practicing barrister um, it's an area you should have some knowledge of if you are practicing in the civil courts. 
and other new developments cover such things as expert evidence disclosure of the pilot scheme, security for costs, cross undertakings, and they've also covered a number of other matters, including debt, the debt respite scheme, uh, which came in, <coughs> excuse me, which came into force on the fourth of May, 2021, and of course there's a lot of case law. And the date of the publication of the hardback is cited as at the 23rd of August with the law 2021, with the law being end of May 2021, as it currently stands. Although, of course, there will be some changes. It has been an odd time uh, within the profession uh, through the pandemic, but we're now the other end at the moment of, of what we've been through. We may have another one to face, but at the moment, I'm hoping things will start returning to normal but in the meantime this is your big book it's very important to know your way around this book there it is again the spine and the back and just opening it in the middle counterclaims and other additional claims everything is what i've found so helpful is everything is logically laid out so you should be able to find all the way through linking with the cpr numbers what you've actually got to deal with depending on the type of brief you've got or the problem that the client has but you can see the structure and the paragraph numberings and just finally going to another one um, oral evidence in fact here we go Ev actually it's evidence chapter 31 on evidence itself that's looking at the key questions what facts must be proved and how will this be done now again that's very fundamental but that's what this book is about and I did say it's the entire spectrum which is brilliantly, I think, covered for the uninitiated. So a very big thank you to John O'Hare and to Kevin Brown for continuing to produce this first-class book. And, of course, I must thank Sweden Maxwell and Thomson Reuters for making our lives so much easier. It's difficult enough with the white book, and this book helps immensely. So thank you all, and good luck. Bye-bye.